the first time that the opportunity came up, what were you thinking? What was the feeling that you had when you heard about this? So this is embarrassing. I was flattered that they thought I had what it took to buy the company and take it over. And then I realized that no one else was <laughs> interested in it. I was the only one who either was interested or had the resources or, you know, I had both. So there was some interest, but the members who were interested didn't have the resources. So I, I was it. Uh, so I was flattered. And until I realized that, no, I was, I was somewhat of a, the desperation choice, but that's great. Cause it gives you a bit of a chip on your shoulder and you want to prove that you can do it. Maybe not that you want to prove the others wrong. You just want to prove that you can do it. Yeah. And there's there's nothing more motivating than wanting to be able to show that it's possible. Confront the naysayers. Say, you know what? This is, I can do this. This can happen. And then you want to show up for others. I, I just hope that there's someone listening who may have a family business that fell out of their hands or might fall out of their hands if the next generation doesn't take it on. And let this be a cautionary tale. Don't let it fall out of hands. Yeah. Because what happened to Stuckey's could happen to you. Most of my grandfather's stores are shuttered. There's only 13 original stores still standing. Many of them are now strip clubs and trucker bars, and it's heartbreaking. Fair. But totally turning understand. it around, it's not yeah. too late. No, 100%. Not you're, dead yet. We're, you're, we're, you're we're really off the life support. We're walking. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Walk me through 